Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hey guys, welcome to Lisa's Ladle. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy this epi episode. If you've seen some other cooking recipes that I've done in the past, welcome back. Today's recipe is gonna be the mini meat loaves. This is an awesome recipe, especially if you want to make it ahead, freeze it, and have it for lunch or dinner at another time. So for today's recipe, we're gonna be using a barbecue sauce. That's a homemade barbecue sauce. And we're making that out of one cup of ketchup. And then we have a quarter cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, two garlic, garlic cloves minced, an eighth, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, uh, the salt is based that's basically a pinch of salt an eighth of eighth teaspoon and then an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper that gives it a little bit of kick and i tell you what guys i'm not a huge barbecue fan i know it's hard to believe but um i really love this barbecue sauce so we're going to not only put it on top of our meatloaf but we're going to put a little bit inside the meatloaf too and then for the actual meatloaf itself, the ingredients are going to be one, one pound of ground beef. Then we have a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce for the meatloaf, a tablespoon of parsley, one green pepper, one cup of uh, white onion or yellow onion is fine also, and two eggs. And then we also have a tablespoon of dry mustard if I didn't mention the mustard. So let's get cooking. Grab your aprons, everybody, and meet back here. First thing I'm gonna do is put the barbecue sauce together because what I like to do is have, uh, put it together and then put it in the refrigerator and let those spices and juices get all mixed together while I'm putting the meatloaf. So we have the cup of ketchup. You will find that you won't use all of the barbecue sauce so when you're having meatloaf sandwiches the next day, you can add that to your bread or your meatloaf. It's yummy, guys. Since I know I'm gonna have extra barbecue sauce, I already put the barbecue sauce in a container that has a resealable lid, Tupperware, or whatever you have available. So you wanna mix it up really, really well. Let that brown sugar dissolve. If anyone out there actually tries this barbecue sauce and you're a barbecue fan, will you please leave a comment and let me know what you think because I found that I love this one. We have our pound of hamburger and I use the 93% lean. I just like it because it's not as greasy. Two eggs. anyone out there thinks that cooking's not fun, here's the fun part. You get to get your hands dirty. You want to get in there and smush it and roll it and just really mix it together. And it's hard to do if you have a spoon or a fork or whatever. Get your hands in there, guys. Let's get cooking together. So now I'm going to add my barbecue sauce. What you can do if you want that to really uh, simmer a little bit more before you use it in your meatloaf is make it a, a, the night before. We're gonna use two third cups of the barbecue sauce. I just dip and scoop. Spread it on top. Last ingredient that I didn't mention in the beginning, oatmeal. I like to bind it together with some oatmeal. One cup of Quaker Oats. I'm 
So I added a cup of Quaker oats, and if you are not an oatmeal fan, you can use panko or breadcrumbs. All of those work. I just like the flavor, texture, and how the oatmeal binds. Get our hands dirty. Let's preheat our oven to 375 and spray our, our baking tin. For the mini meatloafs, I'm using the large six large muffin contain, uh, tin. Muffin tin. <laughs> Cooking hazards. And you want to be generous with the cooking spray. Crisco also works well. As we know, I like Crisco. While our oven is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the meat mixture into the tin. Fill it about to the top, not quite to the top. extra barbecue sauce. I'm going to leave that in the refrigerator while this cooks. You want to set your oven to 375 and we're going to bake it for uh, 25 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. I'm going to put my timer at 25 and then I'm going to take it out, make sure that the meatloaf's done. If it's done or close to being done, then we're going to add some barbecue sauce on the top. So let's get baking. So we have about 5-10 minutes left of these. I'm going to add a little bit more barbecue sauce on the top. Bake one more time, five, 10 minutes. And then they're ready to eat after you let them cool for about five minutes. Be careful, the pan is hot. Serious guys, we need some smell-o-vision up in here. This smells so good. And if you're wondering, it took about 45 minutes for us to make this little delicious dish, um, put it together. Depending on how fast you chop those vegetables and get your ingredients together. It's a six serving, since we have a six muffin uh, tin pan. And as always, if you enjoy this video and you want some more like this or hopefully getting better each time give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button that way you don't miss any future episodes and as always guys from my ladle to yours i'll keep cooking until i see you next time